Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Baina, I'm an interior designer and style coach. And today let's talk about what is in my fall home decor cart. When I think of fall, there's certain things I wanna to add to my interior to make it actually feel cozy, but still be functional at the same time. So I'm really excited to share these items with you and I will be linking everything below. I also just wanna mention, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I know this you know, some of you guys subscribed from last time. I really appreciate that. Also very quickly, I have a free style quiz. This is an amazing resource for you to at least figure out your base style and then we'll take it from there. The link is in the description box below as well. Okay. So now the first thing I have in my fall home decor cart are accent pillows. A lot of people underestimate the power of accent pillows and how transformative they are. In my opinion, your living room is like your capsule interior. Essentially like five of the major pieces in your room should work together perfectly. And then on top of that, you add your accessories, which will also enhance the design. So your accent pillows are like the shoes and bags of your capsule wardrobe, if that makes sense. I was with my friend in LA a month ago and I helped her refresh her apartment a little bit. We switched the rug to a sizal and we just added these two pillows from CB2 onto a dark gray sofa in a dark living room and it really brightened everything up and freshened everything up. So accent pillows are something that you should, number one, focus on getting high quality and you should not like uh, just get whatever. That should be a purposeful style choice. This is actually a mood board that I created for one of my clients in my style session. And she really wanted like a pink and green living room, but like not overly feminine because she's married. So we came up with this. And as you can see, the accent pillows are like a very strategic part of that design. For these two, I actually got them on Etsy and I chose a green mohair pillow. That is part of my signature design. You're using an expensive fabric, but you don't need a lot. So it's really upping the luxury and elegance, but in a small thing that's affordable for most people. And then we paired it with these cactus silk pillows. That is a thing, something you need to know about. So together, those two materials, which look very high end, which are still affordable, on the sofa, all of a sudden we're taking our design up to the next level. CB2 right now is killing it, always. Things that I love in particular are this um, forest green, like short pile velvet pillow. I'm loving the leather pillows that they have, the stitched leather. If you look at the price tag, you might think, oh my God, you know, that's kind of more than I want to spend on a pillow. But like I said, it does so much. And with stores like CB2, you can try them and then return them, but like, to find an accessory that actually like, transforms, it takes it up a notch, it's high quality and you're interacting with it every day, it's actually not that much money because it's doing so much in your space. I also love the raw silk green pillow they have as well. And then I'm loving this one from Anthropology. And I had previously done a video here on a cheap hack to do curtains and I showed you guys how to transform Ikea Rivka drapes into a pinch pleat to look designer. A lot of you guys love the video. A lot of you guys are trying that yourselves. I decided to get rid of those in my bedroom. It does not mean I don't stand behind the functionality and the success of that as an option, but I have five windows in my bedroom and I'm at a higher level of design. I am absolutely in love with the drapery panels that I did in my living room and dining room, floor to ceiling, ripple fold, pinch pleat, faux linen, shears, absolute perfection. How can I find just a thicker version that is blackout or at least room darkening that would be appropriate for my bedroom. Same aesthetic, something elegant. And I found these Chad made pinch pleat faux linen drapery room darkening panels. So those are in my cart right now. Um, but I did go ahead and order their sample book, which was really important. And I will do a much more in-depth video on this. So this is the fabric that I actually um, decided to go with. It's a beige white. I know textiles very, very well because I worked for years in the high-end furniture industry. And I was like, yes. And one thing I've been looking at for the last two months is linen bedding. And I've done a lot of research on, you know, which company should I go with? And there's a lot of amazing options out there. And I'm kind of really interested in bed threads. Um, this is a brand that, I don't know, I just felt like it kind of was the best value. Now, linen bedding is expensive, okay? And the thing that is really on trend right now with linen bedding is doing this two-tone look, where you have a different color, duvet and pillow shams, those are one color, and then you have the like sheeting and the other pillows, another color, okay? And that's really fun, everybody's obsessed. First thing I did was I actually ordered their free sample card and you guys can too. You can go over to bedthreads.com and just order this. And you're gonna wanna see this because you're gonna, gonna wanna 
really understand what these colors are in person. And so I, you know, seeing them is a whole nother thing. So I kind of like love this color, this is the lilac. You guys know I'm a big lilac girl. Everyone is right now. So I was kind of like attracted to this and I was originally gonna do my whole bed, change all of the bedding. And I kind of am thinking I'm just gonna add a duvet cover in this. You know, look at those two together, which I think um, look very compatible. I feel like linen bedding is kind of an investment. It can be expensive, but again, high quality textiles really take your home to a whole other level. You really should not skimp on those. Making a plan for buying linen bedding makes a lot of sense on Black Friday, when you can probably get the highest percentage off. You might wanna order these samples now to plan for that. Now, if you're not familiar with Diptyque, this is a French brand that is absolutely gorgeous. And it's not just all about style, because sometimes I feel like you can just slap a black and white label and write a French word on anything and people will just buy it. This is not only style, but it's substance. Style and substance, okay? So, um, oh, I save, obviously I've purchased their stuff before. This is my favorite candle scent, Oud. And you're, I never throw, no one ever throws these away, okay? I now use them for cotton balls and Q-tips and just different things. I absolutely don't throw the boxes away. If you guys do throw the boxes away, let me know in the comments below. I don't know what to do with these. Anyway, I am obsessed with this um, candle dome. They call it a candle diffuser and they describe it as a poetic dome. Now I went to the Diptyque store here in Dallas and I saw this myself and I'm really glad I did because number one, it's absolutely gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. It's like this swirly glass and then it has this one black swirly line. Oh, this is giving me art deco vibes and I need to have it because it's going to look so chic on my glass coffee table with books and stuff. Like I associate fall with smells, you know, the smell of chimneys and fireplaces and wood burning and leaves and cozy and it's a little cold out. So you kind of want to bring the fall vibes into your home with smells. So that's absolutely getting purchased. I kinda... um, the next thing in my fall home decor cart is a peace sign wreath. Uh, I believe CV2 used to sell this in a larger size that I would absolutely prefer because then I could put it over my fireplace. Um, but I did find this smaller one. It's pretty small. It's like 20 inches diameter, um, which is actually the perfect size for on a door. But I don't know why. I just thought it was really cute and earthy. And I'm, I'm really leaning into this rustic art deco vibe right now that I'm kind of feeling. So I just thought that was festive and something low cost. I think it's like $20. The next thing is a cozy blanket. And the cozy blanket is one of the reasons why I'm actually not going to be changing all of my bedding to bedding to linen. And that's because last year when I was living in Pennsylvania, I went to Goodwill and I happened to find this olive green, 100% wool army blanket. And I believe it's vintage. And I recently pulled that out of my closet and put it on my bed. And I realized, wow, it transformed the entire vibe of my bedroom in the most delicious and eclectic and minimalist way, which is so, so me. Gosh, you wouldn't think, you know, all these colors I'm putting together actually work, but they do. So I put this wool blanket at the foot of my bed, still with the white bedding. And then I have my amber colored um, Euro pillows and I've got my really strong pink velvet bolster. And then I've got the raffia headboard. It even works with that like Swedish, farmhouse three paneled screen that I have. I'll insert a pic. And then the last one are sh these two chandeliers from Anthropology. I wanted to include them because lighting is something that I'm working on right now. And it all, it's such so transformative in a space and also just having chandeliers just instantly takes you up your decor up a notch. So um, the first one is this one from Amber Lewis. Now I think it's slightly too rustic for me, but I just thought it was really unique. A super elegant and right up my alley for an art deco feel with a rustic element. Um, the scale is a tad small for my living room needs, but I just think it's really pretty. And I think it leans a little bit towards the mid-century, but it's unusual. And um, I wanted to share it so you guys know about it. I also really love the cloud chandelier. Um, again, it's the same concept I'm thinking for my home, which is like a multi-armed, pendant really that has diffused lighting either in some kind of a, a, a disc shade, a cloth shade, or a globe, which is a theme in my home. I'm doing a lot of brass lighting with globe you know, covers. So I thought those were really elegant. And to me, they, they have that kind of artisanal fall, rustic-y, glamorous feel that I, 
is what I'm feeling design wise. And I feel like that's what is kind of happening. So that is what's in my fall to home decor cart. I will link everything below. Let me know your comments, any favorites, anything you're planning on purchasing. Thanks guys so much for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.